Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I've just done um, a set of five paintings, all with the same colour scheme, five layered cups. And I did one of them. It was supposed to be a swipe, but I ended up layering up a cup and pouring the paint out onto the canvas, but in a kind of wiggly line. I then tilted it and it was so pretty. So it was like, a, it was a cross between a ribbon pour and a flip cup. So anyway, I'll, it will be obvious when I, as I get started, but I'm going to repeat that because I thought the effect was just beautiful with some totally different colours. So it's going to kind of be a wiggly ribbon, uh, ribbon pour. Um, so let me show you the colours I've chosen to try this with. So lots of Amsterdam paints. So Amsterdam primary cyan, bronze, carmine, Venetian rose, permanent blue violet, uh, which one's this? Persian rose, ultramarine violet light, and then De La Rowney pearl white. So they're all mixed up there ready. Um, they're all mixed with PVA glue and water pouring medium. So I'll put the recipe in the description of this video. I've put in one drop of spot on treadmill silicon into each cup. I, I'd like some cells, I don't want loads. So I've just one small drop. So I'm going to layer up a cup as if I was doing a flip cup. So the consistency is really similar. Well, it's the same, in fact, to as if I was doing a flip cup. Just try and show you. So it's it's flowing nicely, but it's leaving a trail on the surface for a few seconds. So this is the order I've decided to go with. I'm going to put, I think, I think I'm going to do two layers of each colour. So it would be reasonably thick layers. And I'm just going to drizzle them on top of each other. If you do thicker layers, then each of the colours will stand out a little bit more. I wanted my bronze, I just don't think I've got enough. Oh, it might be silly, is it gonna go over? Right, it's gonna go over. Please don't go over, please don't go over. It's going over. Oh well, never mind, right. Let's get my canvas quickly. I'm reusing a canvas again. So again, it's a canvas that um, I poured on a, a couple of years ago. Um, I liked it at the time, don't like it now. So I've put the gesso over the surface. Um, you can see it was a flip cup. You can see some of the cells showing through. So I would only ever do something with thick paint on top of a flip cup because um, it sometimes isn't completely flat or smooth. So it just doesn't matter as much with um, thicker paint. Right, so... What I plan on doing is pouring this cup out like this. So in a sort of snake, in a wiggly, in a wiggly line, I've put too much paint in this cup. I was just desperate to get the last colour in. So uh, what a silly thing to do. <laughs> so it's going to be really difficult to get this started. I'm just going to have to go with it. Right, that actually went well. That was better than I was expecting, considering how full it was. So it is a kind of ribbon pour, but with very, very thick ribbons. Yep, so far I am really quite happy with that. So just let that drain a bit. So there's quite a lot of paint on here. So I... I think what I might do is just try stretch this out, not necessarily going over the edge yet. And bringing the paint back to the centre each time, because what I want to do is actually try and keep some of these lines.
Right, just getting the weight of the paint back to the centre. So I haven't got straight lines now, I've got wavy lines. I have one massive cell in the centre. So let's give this a torch. I'm going to torch in lines. So where the lines flow, that's where I'm going to be torching. Right, this purple band here, I don't like at all. It's not, not many cells are popping up. I can see the red underneath the purple, but there's just nothing, nothing's popping up. This central band is stunning. Absolutely love that. So I think what I'm going to try and do is tilt off here. Oh, it's sticking. As I said, there's lots and lots of paint on here, so I can get a good, I can really be in control of tilting this. Right, so that was quite easy, that's gone. So now I'm not as keen on this one because it's tilted out so much. It's stretched out so much. I wonder if I can just get more cells appearing in this band. So I thought I wasn't going to torch much, but actually because there isn't much silicon in here, I'm actually torching quite close and quite a lot because I've got less cells than I'm actually wanting. I actually would like more cells. So what I've taught myself now with this painting is actually put more silicon in and torch less because then you've got more control of the cells. Right, I love it, absolutely love it. The colours are great. You've got really nice big thick bands of the colours, colours which is what I wanted. This gold section here, now I've stretched it more, it's opened up because there were, you could see the silicon on the gold, but it was gold silicon on gold, whereas now the blue is coming through. Right, let me show you. So this is very similar to a painting, a flip cup I did a couple of weeks ago, apart from the blue. I love the blue. It, it's just bright, it's electric, look, blue and surrounded by the um, corally colour, the Venetian rose. They're just such nice, rich, warm colours together. There's just so much detail. The cells are distorted, they're not beautifully round, perfectly round cells, but that doesn't matter. I just, what I like about it is just these really big, big rivers of colour going through. And that's what I wanted to try and do, because often with ribbon pores, they the ribbons are so thin. And they, they, I love ribbon pores, but this is this is something quite different. So another crazy one, another very chaotic full on painting. So I'll be back when it's dry. So the painting's now dry. It's 
crazy, but I think I like it. Um, it's not what I planned or what I intended, and it's pretty full on. It's not going to be for everyone. Um, it's it's just so it's just so um, jam packed with details and cells and. Oh, it's not for everyone, I know, but I actually am really pleased with it. So my favourite bit, I'll show you straight away, are these bright blue cells. They're just beautiful. Um, the colours are amazing. I'm so happy with this colour combination. Um, I love the fact that you've got these wonderful lines. You can clearly see the flow of the cup as it was pouring out. You've got the lines, but you've got the cells as well. The cells are massive. They are very distorted in places, um, but some are, some are nice and round. Um, it's crazy. I just, I don't really know quite, oh, sorry, how to describe it or what to say, because it's, I think it's Marmite. You're going to love this or hate this. And I, I think I love it. And it's, but it's, yeah, it's, just, it's a weird, it's a, it's a strange one. Um, what I do love, if I put this flat on the floor, is it's just wonderfully smooth and silky feeling. And can you see how the you've got the silver and the bronze there just look beautiful, Shim really shimmery, really pretty. Um, so, yeah, I, I am happy. Uh, there is a but, but I think I think overall I am happy. I love the composition. I love the flow of it. Um, let me know what you think. Um, if you like it, do hit the thumbs up button. I'd be really interested to know what other people think. Let me know in the comments below. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.